Hi, let's see how to ingest data into Port using Port's API. Port exposes a standard REST API interface, which can be used with all major HTTP methods to ingest data into your software catalog in Port. Most API routes follow the same basic principle. They all start with the V1 route, blueprints, the blueprint identifier, and then the entities route. If you send a post request to this route, while replacing the Blueprint identifier with the identifier of an existing Blueprint, you will create a new entity. So for example, if we take the service Blueprint identifier and place it here and make a POST request, we will create a new service entity. Then if you want to update, overwrite, or delete that new entity, we can add in here the entity identifier, and then we will act on that specific entity. This gives you the option to either create new entities in each of your different blueprints or to make update to existing entities in your software catalog. For example, when you want to ingest a brand new entity and then update it with information from a new data source. Sensport already offers several integrations into port which allow you to ingest data from different sources. It is a good question to ask when should you use the API as a data source? And the answer is when you are ingesting custom from custom sources, for example, CI CD platforms, which Port does not have an integration for. When you are migrating from an old data source, for example, a CSV file, an existing database, a JSON or YAML file. And as part of your automation scripts and backends, for example, certain processes that you have in a Python script or a Go CLI which you want to use to report new entities to port and ingest data into sort of catalog are good candidates to use ports API to ingest that information. Now let's look at the demonstration showing how to ingest new data into the software catalog using ports API. So in, this is the page of my service blueprint and we can see here the different service entities that I currently have. Now let's assume that I want to ingest a new service entity using Ports API. So in here, I have my environment already set up to ingest a new service entity. And I have already authenticated with the API and I received a JWT token that will be sent to authenticate me in my request. You can also see that I have my request URL set up with the base URL, with the API version, which is V1, the blueprints route, and the Blueprint ID that I want to create a new entity in, in this case, the service entity, uh, as well as addressing the entities route to create a new entity. Now, if I look at the body of the request, I can see here all of the information of the new entity that I'm going to create. So we can see, for example, the identifier of the new entity, its title, icon, and the different set of properties that I'm going to report. Now, once I click send, what's going to happen is that this new entity is going to be created and we can see the API status as well as the complete information of the new entity that was created. And I can see that I created a new entity with the identifier card service. Its title is card service under the service blueprint. And we can see the different properties that I reported. Now, if I go back to the catalog, what we'll see here is that a new card service entity was created just a few seconds ago and it includes all of the different information and properties that I supplied. So this is just a short example showing you how you can use Ports API to create new entities and ingest information into the software catalog. Now, after we know how to use Ports REST API, which is the core data source, let's see how we can use the different integrations that Port offers, which construct over our REST API. 